excited, anxious. Third grade teacher Mike Navarrete knows incoming students aren't the only ones who get nervous. This is my first year being grade level chair. Here at Sunrise Acres Elementary School, his classroom is just about ready for the start of school on Monday. But then a welcome surprise. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Metro officers from the downtown area command paying a visit to each teacher. And I'm Officer Gale with Las Vegas Metro. Delivering free school supplies, knowing many teachers pay for these items out of their own pocket. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And the supplies aren't the only commitment to the neighborhood. For well over a year, officers have concentrated on the area near Sunrise and 21st Street, meeting with apartment managers and talking to tenants about their concerns. A neighborhood once plagued by violence has seen a drop in crime of about 43%. A year ago, it, it was pretty bad. The area was full of a lot of garbage, and um, we helped clean up the area to help for their curb appeal and make it safer for their children. Um, you know, just building contacts and seeing how we can make their lives a little easier. Officer Cody Gill has been with the department two years and says today's delivery is an extension of all that work at Sunrise and 21st, helping teachers help the kids. Usually they see us under unfortunate circumstances, but this is a way they can see us and we're there to help them. The supplies were all donated through Metro's community partners, the Downtown Project, the Siegel Group, the D Hotel, and the Premium Outlet Mall, groups that all believe investing in education matters. As for Navarrete. Markers, the kids love the markers. He knows every little bit helps. Thankful for this unexpected visit from the police. There are times where some of the students don't have these materials even at the beginning of the year. And so having, um, consumables like the pencils, for example, um, or the paper. It's really helpful for us. Denise Roche, News 3.